Folks across the borderland join the rest of the nation in turning their eyes to the sky today as Texas saw its first total solar eclipse in more than 145 years. While El Paso wasn't in the path of totality, those who ventured outside were able to witness the moon obscure more than 80% of the sun at around 1225 this afternoon. Good evening, I'm John Purvis. 31 million people live in the path of today's totality for this once-in-a-generation scientific spectacle in which the moon blocks out the sun. NASA estimated 99% of the people in the U.S. could see at least a partial eclipse, making it one of the ultimate water cooler conversation starters. Even scientists emphasize the eclipse's social impact. It's far more about inspiration, awe, and joy for humanity. It's an event that just makes you feel a lot of things. The name of the game for viewing today's total eclipse was cloud cover, with New England having the least of it, making for the best line of sight in America. It's the last total solar eclipse in the continental U.S. until 2044. CBS 4 at 5.30, Jacqueline Quinones is live on the UTEP campus where she joined Borderland students and professors who came together to witness this celestial phenomenon. I'm here at UTEP where it might not look like it right now, but earlier today this place was packed with students from the Isleta Independent School District and students from UTEP wearing some of these to catch the spectacular solar eclipse. It's nice to see it like in person. I think it's pretty cool. The sun, the fact that the sun and the moon can like come together and they can and they can block each other out or the moon can block the sun. I think it's pretty cool. In a very rare solar eclipse viewing, over 300 students, 6th to 12th graders from the Young Women's Leadership Academy were invited by the UTEP Aero Center program to attend a viewing event. We're promoting STEM activities in our community. And so with today's solar eclipse, we saw the perfect opportunity to be able to get all the young women out here so we can gather around together. And NASA provided the really awesome solar eclipse glasses. Wow, it's getting bigger, Matho. Yeah. The last solar eclipse occurred in 2017, and the next one is supposed to occur in 2044. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and the sun and then creates the image that we can see here from Earth. Students I spoke with say they find the image they see to be very fascinating. It's interesting how like it happens and how like the sky goes black. Students from UTEP also attended the event to enjoy the rare phenomenon. It's just a once in a lifetime event, you know, it's so spectacular that we get to see this. You know, the next one's in 20, uh, 20, uh, 44, and it's just uh, such a phenomenon that, you know, the moon is passing over the sun. We're pretty lucky, but not as lucky as Austin. They have the full eclipse today. If you have any pictures that you would like to share, you can send them over to our Eclipse chime in tag at cbs4local.com. Reporting live at YouTube, Jacqueline Quinones, CBS4 at 530.